was sad. It was really sad. Mark Brown still can't wrap his head around how the lives of two young children ended in this Sanford neighborhood. I ran to the store to get me some balloons to put up, you know. One by one, people stopped by to pay their respects and leave gifts for the two and five year old kids killed on Friday night. My wife, every time my wife thinks, just thinks about it, she starts to cry, you know. So I told her about the memorial, so she told me to get her a balloon too, so I got one for me, one for my wife. The Sanford Police Department says officers were called to the scene around 7.30 that evening. When they got there, they found two children and a man severely injured. All three were riding on this dirt bike when they were hit by the truck. They have kind of flooded out of the center uh, to come over and, and see, you know, if anybody could do anything, but they, again, stayed clear of the, of the victims. The children died at the hospital, and police say their father is still there in life-threatening condition. It's tragedy beyond comprehension. While there's no current ordinance in place within the city of Sanford, we learned state law governs the use of motorized vehicles. Under Florida law, all motor vehicles are required to be registered and the driver has to have a valid driver's license if driving on any roadway. Criminal charges are now pending because the dirt bike was not street legal, did not have a headlight, and was reportedly traveling at a high rate of speed. Neither of the two children were wearing helmets. And that's a sad thing. It's a sad thing. In a statement, the Sanford police chief said those kids should have never been on that dirt bike, and that dirt bike should have never been on the road. Reporting in Sanford, Marlisa Goldsmith, Fox 35 News.